everyone welcome back to my channel it's been a long awaited video about how to apply for Monzo I'm sorry that it took a long time to get this video up but I just didn't know how to record it I have recorded it twice before but it just didn't seem that like in that informal but first things first please can you like the video and subscribe to the channel just so then you get notified about when I upload more videos and it will also be supporting me. Now, the first thing you need to do when applying for Monzo is to actually fill out an application form. Just like any other job, you need to fill out an application form. So you can either go onto the Monzo website or you can go on indeed.com. Here I'm gonna show you how to fill out the application form. So I'm just gonna show you in depth on how to apply for a Monzo job so you just go on the Monzo website and then go to view our job openings so you've got all the different um, like types of jobs I guess so these ones are quite senior quite high up so remember every single job is remote so if you've got experience in these ones like financial crime um, that's that's what I want to do financial crime generally you would start up staff off as a cop um, frontline customer service cop and then you would work up to these if you are eligible so for example let's apply for fraud advisor Look experience, go all the way down. So generally you have to work in the UK, you can work remotely, they give you all the equipment. So you just fill out all this information, attach your C V and then you've understood the requirements and then tell us about your time you've went the extra mile for someone. Now, depending on which role you apply for, you will get different questions. So, for example, I applied for frontline cop, which basically means I was just customer service. So, all my questions were customer service related. But if you apply for the fraud department or maybe for, um, like, more specialised, such as, like, IT or software, you'll get specialised questions for that. But tip number one when filling out an application form is to make sure you do it in Word because then you can check the spelling, grammar, and also save the word document because when it comes to your interview, they'll be asking you the exact same questions, so it's just good to have them so you can just basically just repeat what you've said. When you're writing your answers, make sure you come across empathetic, sympathetic, and you're talking like a person and not a robot because Monzo wants to show that customers are talking to an actual person and not a robot, and, they need, and you need to show that you're being empathetic. Also, when you're writing your answers, you need to make sure that you have some knowledge of like customer service. So say, I'm sorry for your problem, if there's the question about a problem. And then remember, um, just to take in consideration, consideration business needs. So generally the questions are scenario based. So it'll be like, for example, Stephen bought a phone, mobile phone over eBay. He set the payment, um, but he never received the goods, so he, he was scammed. Um, so what would you do? So you've got to be empathetic. So you say, oh, I'm sorry, Stephen, for what happened to you. Let's see if there's anything we can do. Um, so you would just go ask for evidence, say, Stephen, do you have any evidence um, or proof of the conversation? Ask for screenshots. And then you're going to say, Stephen, did you, was, did you do any research on the person? Or did you know that there were like alerts on Monzo app to, to um, make sure that you're not being scammed, things like that. So if you know anything about the Monzo app, then you'll know that you get three warnings before you send a payment, just to double check that it's not fraud. Um, which goes on to tip number three, if you, if you haven't got a Monzo account or an app, I recommend you just create one, just so you can see what it looks like. But Please be aware that Monzo is now with Credit Union and TransUnion. So obviously opening another bank account will go on your credit records, stuff like that. Nothing bad to have it, it just means you've got another bank account open. Tip, I recommend you do some background history on Monzo, the company themselves, because they'll probably ask you some questions about the Monzo bank in your interview. Or you'll go to the interview stage, which is basically a Monzo recruitment date. 
so everything's done online so you need to be in a quiet area good lighting um, also you should know your download upload speed and the specs of your computer so I've got a MacBook um, and stuff like that because because they'll go through that with you so the recruitment day is based, it's broken up in different sections the first person you'll meet will just ask you basic questions like paperwork like can you work in the UK they'll review your documents like your passport driver license so make sure you've got that all of that to hand and then once she's checked all your documents you can go to on to the next stage so from IT we'll check all your software computer specs to make sure it's all right and then from there you're gonna go on to your official interview um, basically it's just like a guy he is he's just gonna repeat the questions that he that you asked that you got given in the application form if that makes sense so everything that you wrote down in your word document that you should have saved saved he will just repeat and then he's gonna ask why why did you say that why is it important to Monzo that you said that what um, what will happen to the customer stuff like that so again you need to show that you've been empathetic have some knowledge of the company things like that and then once you've finished that interview Monzo will get back to you within like two working days something like that and see if you've got the job or not well done you've passed the interview and you've got the job at Monzo so what should you expect so training is about two weeks I would say so uh, this week is predominantly just looking at policies and information about banks and Monzo and what to do and so, like and what to do certain things so you'll go through the history of Monzo complaints procedure the different Monzo op offers different types of customers security data protection like normal stuff that you would go through like health and safety um, everything is remote so everything would be done on a computer you will also be sent a computer like I have um, like on my desk so everything you can get from Monzo and then you can move on to actual actually getting into your job role so you'll be put in a team and if there is more training that is more catered to your area I hope that video was informative if you've got any questions please write them below in the comment section but again please like this video and subscribe see you next time bye